So, if, uh, if we're going to look into finding a new vector, um, if we're given the magnitude of v, which I didn't say what the magnitude of v is. What's the magnitude? 9? OK. So we have a new vector, 9. And we have a other, another vector, u, that has a direction of 2 comma 5. And we want to find our new vector that's going to have the same direction as 2 comma 5, but with the magnitude now of 9. So if you guys remember what I did is when we looked at, by finding the unit vector, if we can take that unit vector and multiply it by its new magnitude, we know that the magnitude is just going to be the scalar of that, correct? Right? If you looked at, uh, if you're able to find, if we're able to find our angle theta, and this is u, then if I multiply it by a new magnitude, that's just either going to you know, increase it or decrease it, but they're going to have exactly the same magnitude. So what I'm going to want to do here is I'm going to want to multiply has a magnitude of 9. Let's see. Magnitude of v equals 9. OK, that's what I didn't write down. So what I'm first going to want to do is be able to determine what my unit vector is going to be for my uh, vector that's in the component form of 2 comma 5. So remember to find the component form or the unit vector, I'm going to take u over the magnitude of u. Then what I'm going to do with that unit vector is I'm going to multiply it by the magnitude of 9. All right. So we know that the vector u is 2 comma 5. Now I simply need to do is find what the magnitude is. So remember the magnitude is equal to the square root of v1 plus v1 squared plus v2 squared. All right, this is in your formulas in your notes that you forgot last time, Galen. So now you can just rewrite it down for you. So therefore, that's going to equal the square root of 2 squared plus 5 squared, which is the square root of 29. So therefore, we have 9 times 2 comma 5 all over the square root of 29, which I can now break up into a vector of 9 times 2 over square root of 29 comma 5 over the square root of 29. Then remember what you do with the scalar. You just multiply that scalar all the way through. And we're looking at my points. So therefore, I just multiply this through. So I have 18 over the square root of 29, comma, 45 over the square root of 29. I will right, we'll just leave those as is right there. Yep. That's it. That's your vector <laughs> with the same direction as 2 comma 5, but now with a new magnitude of 9. So that's what your new director format will be.